it ever stops flooding because it's raining monsoon right now but i'll uh let me show you real quick how uh how the backyard's flooded from the rain and uh i got some things i gotta get done but until the rain stops really can't do anything so let me show you the flooded backyard real quick The guardian dog is currently on guard. You ever wonder what uh, Bella does during misty rainy days? Fixing to show you. I think I interrupted her snore time slumber. <laughs> she snored up a storm, boy. Oh, she settled back down. Yeah, for a pig, he's supposed to like uh, getting down in a bunch of, like a wawa. She can't stand when it rains, man. She don't like getting wet. When it's raining, she's right over there in that bed. She hall tail or high tails it over here at that house. That's where she stays at. It's crazy craziest thing. As you can see where she, when she, she'll take the, the water buckets and she dumps them. You can see where she, like over here where she dumps her water buckets out? Or right here, she makes her little wallow and wallows around and it gets all muddy and wet. But buddy, when it rains, pew! Right over there to the house. I don't know how, she don't like, she don't like it wet. It's crazy. Let's check on them uh, baby chicks real quick. Good morning. Hey. Yeah. Are you looking healthy? That's good. I think they're a bit too small yet to have figured out the uh, figure the rooster bars out. It should take a little while to get to that, but I guess we'll, they'll figure, but at least, you know, they, they can't get here in the, in the lay boxes and start messing them up. Because whether they realize it or not, all I use them rooster bars as far as sleeping and pooping. And when they go to sleep, they poop. You definitely don't want it in your, uh, any lay boxes. They're doing good. All right, one of the things we got to come up with is some way to either box in or frame in or something. Bella's water and feet and just, uh, I think what I'm going to start doing is, see like the way it is now, here's our, here's our waters in her feed buckets because she chews them things up we just let her use them up until they she chews holes in them we just chunk it and put, you know use it on but she knocks these things around and see she makes big wallows out of it so uh, there's lazy right there 
but probably just boxing these things in and maybe boxing them in like right up against here so she can't knock them around and knock them over. The issue with that, with sticking them right there is the way the sun comes up, the sun comes up here and goes over, and we end up having to rotate the waters and all around so the water stays cooler because we don't want to sit you know, right there in the, in the blistering heat. But what I kind of considered doing was just building a frame. I think maybe right here. And then building a little, a little shelf over here that would cover those and then box and those in where she can't knock them around. And then she don't end up dumping her water. Especially during the, you know, the summer heat and all. If she knocked all of her water over trying to make walls out of it, then she ain't got any water to drink. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with something for, uh, for this summer. Um, I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I don't know whether I can use maybe wire maybe to, maybe like chicken wire or something, just around the bottoms of it, just to, you know, keep it. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta come up with something though. Come up with an idea. And what I think I'm gonna do instead is I'll just take a uh, instead of reusing like those things is just getting another or using one of those five gallon bu buckets because if I can box those things in where she can't knock them over then I don't have to have all those buckets trying to make sure she don't knock them over for wallows and and not have a water drink, so yeah, um, I, th I think I am. I think I'm gonna box it in here and just build a lean to over it so that the sun don't beat down on it, heat that water up. She ended up with hot water, having to drink hot water, and she can't knock the water over. And mind you, now we spray down over here so she's got you know wet areas she can wallow in, but. She wants to knock those waters, waters over all the dags and time. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to come up. That's, that's my idea. Now, implementing is another story. I have to come up with something to, to do that with. All right.
Alright, that's my solution for rim rod there. That ought to work pretty good. So you got three quarters and this last one right here, right there, that'll be for a feed. So it'll keep it from her knocking it around and all that mess. And, and the buckets are still free so you can pick them up, dump them out, clean them out when you got to. So, uh, it's that ought to work. You know, I've kind of figured out over the years, it seems like the biggest thing you end up fighting with more than anything when you're dealing with livestock is, uh, is water. It's the craziest thing, but water is always the daggone aggravating factor. Especially when like, we had those ducks. Man, good lord. Lord have mercy. Water, 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 water was driving me crazy. Them ducks, man, they, they got to have water. And it was cleaning it every day, dumping it every day, refilling it every day, scrubbing it every day. It was crazy. Now, Bella's not nearly as bad, not even close to being as bad as the ducks were. And the chickens weren't either. They're just something about them ducks, man. Whew. But uh, even with just the chickens and the pig, it's uh, finding ways to, something to do with water. It's always something with water. Well, I'm going to check in on the baby chicks real quick, see how they're doing. Let me give them a look, see. I'm going to put them in the coop. I kind of figured for sure, without a doubt, they hang around like a... Like this front side over here, where the light and all, and the feed and all, and all that. Mm -mm. They had the back. It's... Where's darker at? I don't... I don't get it. Maybe they're just still scared of what's going on, and... Uh... Just trying to hide right now, Miguel. It'll definitely come out of that. That's for sure. All right, y'all. I'll do my little project for today. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, as always, God bless each and every one of you. Hope y'all having a good day. Uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. That may help us out. And uh, hope I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.